today's official. Mike Lash, assisted by Paulo Duarte, Khalil Harrison, and Chris Osmus is the TMO. And we are underway in Harriman. As you see, the ball get held up in the wind immediately, five meters away on the right side of the pitch here as they look at the try zone. 12 minutes in, scoreless. Battle of two and three teams in fifth place in their conferences. They dig it out. Richardson goes in, driving towards the line again. And then an easy dot down by Ronan Foley, and Toronto strikes first in the 13th minute. Very technical and clinical, and it starts like we expected for the Toronto Arrows from that set piece. Comes up quick, and then it's Richardson on the dive in, and the big number eight, Foley, detaches off the back of the scrum and immediately gets in an attacking position to put it down right next to the posts. No relation to Matt. He's not on a steady diet of government cheese. The Irishman of the season, and Sam Malcolm makes the bunny. Now, if this were golf, that'd be, like, extremely good this year on penalty goals. One of the best in the league, and he punches it through for three, and that will take us to the hydration break. Arrows as they try and tack on another one here. It was a great take in the air from Foley as he went over the top. Drop ball, Mika Cruze picks it up. And Mikey the Tao is off to the races. He'll go between the post, and Utah will dot it down because Lance Williams came up with a very physical play at midfield, and Utah scores its first try of the game. Inside the 22 now. Robinson Bartlett making moves. Salmon. Two of our misses a tackle, trying to come up quick on defense. They go back short side of the field. Arrows trying to take the lead here. Here's Robinson Bartlett in his first appearance for the Arrows. Good run from Isaac Salmon to get a couple meters. Offloads on the ground, and then the dive in the corner. And is he in? Awaiting the signal as Brock Webster, it looked like, dove for the corner. Look at this. Yes, Mike, I can hear you. Yeah, cool. As we hear the uh, TMO. Now there's the dive. It looks like he gets it. Now Saunders does not think so. TMO is taking a look at this still. So Webster here gets his feet up and he's elevated before contact is made from Saunders. Normally in that situation, a lot of players will dive and drag their feet and that's what allows deep. You can hear There is Osmos. no evidence to overturn your on-field decision. So it will be a you try. You may award the try. Okay, there you go. So Toronto scores. It's Brock Webster. Self and clear the kick out. That was an incredible piece of skill right there. Amazing, heady play by Mikey Tail. Line out for Toronto, who has a chance to go up two scores here if they get a converted try. Mikey up with the a middle. Great tackle. Yeah, to Funga right there. Here's Robinson Bartlett. Robinson Bartlett has a chance. He got around Niall Saunders. And Bartlett, Robinson. Robinson Bartlett dots it down, and Toronto has taken the seven-point lead. Conversion pending. All it took was a moment. Longer, and so far, it's the Toronto Arrows making their tackles. He ran into contact with three or four Warriors there, and then shook one, shook two, and that was all it took for the big man to finish. The outside center getting the job done for Toronto. Already ahead of where the kick was, so he was technically in an offside position. But the penalty had already been given to Utah, which is why they came back and reset the scrum again. Now Utah will look to run. A oh, and this play is over the top. Ball. Toronto takes it, and now they have it five meters out. Toronto can make this a two score game again. Sam Malcolm trying to get past Niall Saunders. The swirling wind again being a big factor with the looping ball over the top. There's space on the outside. And then dotted down for the try. It's the sub, Jack McRogers with his second try. And just like that, Toronto's up 22-10. Inside the five meter line for what looked like 15 minutes worth of play. <laughs> and then the ball over the top, the, the good offload back to the inside for the trailing forward. Oh, conversion under the best of circumstances. Yeah. Now with the wind swirling, we saw two clang off the uprights. This one is up and gets through. It was slow, but through from Will Kelly. Or maybe it was just a, an injury sub for just that conversion. Now, if this ball misses, it is a live ball unless it goes out of play. It's got the length. Easily. And it's good. Toronto's up 17 with 13 left. The line out comes in, taken by Bailey Wilson. Christensen has it, now Makany. Van Vuren. Great run from Yuri Van Buren, driving his feet forward. Makany. Lopser. Lopser has a gap. Breaks through. No one's going to catch him. And Lopser will dot it down. And this is important because he lined up his own kick for the conversion. So 
So all subs are in for Utah. Important kick here, trying to get all of them, and it's pushing to the right, but it stayed inside of that right post. And now it's 17 to 27. Now Utah's got the advantage, of course. Down 10, needing a score here soon to just have a crack at this. A lot of space on this side. And here's Lopser. Lopser over to Connor Burns. It's, it's a, a foot race. Sprint, and no one's going to catch him. And Utah's got a chance here, Banksy, at the end as Burns stops it down with five and a half minutes to go. Third try for the Warriors. Oh, and it, the wind pushed it in. And the game stands on a knife's edge. A penalty against Utah ends it. A try for Utah ends it for Toronto. Everyone on their feet here at Zions Bank Stadium. Christensen waits at the back. Tomasi Tonga from Harriman here. We're up down the street. Christensen goes off of Mike Lash, the ref, to his left, being dragged forward. He's five meters away. Bailey Wilson now being held on to by Mike Shepard. Toronto being stout so far, but Utah right there. Gieselman over to Ali Khalifi. Khalifi, three meters away. And now, what's the call? Knock on is the word from the head referee. In and the, the game's down. over. And that, I believe, will do it here from Zions Bank Stadium. The referee initially uh, acknowledged knock on, and the advantage was being played. And then Toronto just kicked the ball out the back. Toronto escapes. Utah had it five meters away, but does not win. What a finish to this one as Toronto holds on 27 to 24. Woo! We will catch our breath and recap this one and have a man of the match interview coming up as Toronto wins in dramatic fashion at Utah 27 to 24.